only give one shot. Hello, new world, all the boys and girls. I got some true stories to tell. You're back outside, but they still lie. Whoa, yeah. Take off the fufu, take off the cloud chase, take off the wifi, take off the money phone, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white loss, take off the weird jury, I'ma take 10 steps, then I'm taking off top off. Take off the fabricate streams and the microwave memes, it's a real world outside. Take off your idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo, take off the Sandro pay, five days day, take off for the meal, hella follow. Take off the far flag, take off perception, take off the cop with the iPad. Take off the allure, take off the unsure, take off decisions I lack. Take off the fake deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke, I care. Take, it off. take off the gossip, take off the new logic, they're the rich, I'm real. Take, it off. take off the should nail, take off the doje, take off the broken bag. Take, take all that designer, off and what do you have? You out of pocket. Huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You out of pocket. Who you think they carry up? Carry up us. The word in the panic, the women is stranded, the men on the run. The profits are vanished, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants. To sleep in the box while they making the mockery following us. This ain't monopoly, watch it for love. This ain't monogamy, y'all get it. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. All my descendants, they come in my sleep and say I am too real. I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal. Done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right. You hoping for change and clericals. I know the feelings that came with burials cries. You ugly. You out of pocket. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You out of pocket. Who you think they carry up? Carry up us. Serving up a love, dancing in a job. Tell her to the big step, but never lose a count. Venting in the safe house. Venting in the safe Can I feel up my truth? I got nothing to lose. I got problems and fools. I can swim on my feet. Cameras moving whenever I'm moving. The family suing whatever I make. Murder is stacking. The president acting. The government taxing my funds in the bank. Homies attracting the fence when I ain't breaking. Look at my reaction. My pupils on skates. Hold up, hold up. Let's think about this for a second. Oh. Tell me what you would do for a second. Oh. When you show your show on credit. Oh. When you show your bro for leverage. Oh. What a hypocrite said. What community feel that the only one's relevant? Oh. What a hypocrite said. What community feel that the only one's relevant? Oh. <laughs> You out of pocket, yeah, you out of pocket You entertain the mediocre, need to stop it You entertaining old friends when they toxic What's your life like, you gossip What the fuck is council code to doubt? Say what I want about you, I'm like overdog I treat you like I'm jigger, watch I own it all Oh, you worry about a critic, that ain't protocol Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions. season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. Well, how's that for an early scoreline? Some people are asking the ushers where their seat is. And boom, we've got a score on the board. A fumble return on the opening kickoff. And this is where all the tailgating groups are looking at each other saying, maybe we need to get to the stadium just a little bit earlier next time. Oh, man, those brought 
so good, Charles. So good. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Pickett to put it in the air off the bat. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Mar on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. So, Charles, the season winding down. The playoffs obviously not in their future. As they look ahead to the offseason, what spots do they maybe need to fill? Well, I think that they like the guy who's calling the plays and throwing the ball. I think that he's a pretty good player. Need some help, I think, on the perimeter, though. Help him out with receivers because I think if he gets an upgrade there, his play gets that much better, too. Second and nine. Pick it. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Now, well, this defense for the Lions, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. And every defensive team that we talk to, they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've had a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times in the win. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. But a team's turned it over three times in the first half. We just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They play awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. On first and ten, Youngblood. And it's caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A great play there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, CD, you, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but 
the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Here's Pickett. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by Amadio Uruye. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Mar now to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. So, this not what we expected. 28 0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've got to be absolutely reeling right now. Couldn't have expected to be down this big this early, but that's the spot they're in as they come up to try again here. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? Throwing on second and 14. Pickett throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Oh, I see you not in your head a word with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. And complete right side to Cook. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Pick it right back to the air again. And Cook has it, left side. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Now pick it on fourth down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'm warned against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. 
Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Second and six. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Looking to throw. Youngblood. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to break them after the other side. Their defense came through and was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, Paul. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held it, they might go for it again. David Ajabo, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, these two division rivals, the schedule maker, gave them a couple of second-half meetings this year. They met for the first time back in Week 11, and it was the Lions who got the road victory in that one, so they'll be looking to claim the season series now here at home in Detroit. And they'll get him down up past the 15. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Off play action. Young blood. He completes it to Beckham. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. A partner that locked in man coverage out left and end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now they'll run on the draw. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. On first 
touchdown, Youngblood. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Come on, come on. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Dragon 60. Back to throw. Youngblood. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. As quarterbacks like to do, he pushed it downfield on that throw. But I think that since he was outside the pocket and there was open space, it would have been a good time for his first carry of the game. the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the Let's NFL. Go, you and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Throwing on first down, young blood. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Oh, that's a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown run. Go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the round is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, here's Moore to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit Lair. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Pickett back to throw. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. It's looking like another three and out here. And at some point, you got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. We're not even at halftime. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. Fielded at the 20. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They go play action here on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. On second down, they'll run it here. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense, and know what they said. Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week in how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. Try to fire up that running game with Dalvin Cook. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after him. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now pick it. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. T.J. Hawkinson, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Vikings take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Lions 
Titans offense ready to kick off their next drive. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and ten. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Steps away to his left. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw, Youngblood. They'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 43. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Here's the option going left on second down. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. The kick by Marr is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this drive maybe didn't end with the same kind of success they had in the first half, but they do add three to their lead. And defensively, I think they went in there at halftime and made a pact with each other and said, look, we can't let these guys keep driving it right down our throats. Not perfect giving up three, but a much better start than the way they played in the first half. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And it, look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. A big play there on the catch and run, 68 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Pick it. Zone touchdown, Minnesota. Michael Pittman from four yards out. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead is down to 24. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Operating from the gun, young blood. It's caught by OBJ. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 38-yard line. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Off the play fake, young blood. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, been pretty sensational and he maneuvers up the middle for three and it's second down seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game how they done it so successfully to me it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting and you know brandon when they do those they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run the best runs for the top running back those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The Vikings on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. Here it's third and two. Pick it now from the gun here. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things down. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Michael Pittman with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Vikings get a bit closer. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Hey! 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue okay, to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Detroit. What an excellent run. And from the beginning, the defense just looked a little fooled, a little out of position. A little bit frozen, too, because when you hand the ball inside, you lose sight of it oftentimes as a defender, and your eyes naturally gravitate to the quarterback. And before they realized it, he was often running through the thick of the line while the quarterback faked it and carried it outside. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Play action. Pick it. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Daxton Hill picks it off, and the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Daniil Hunter came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Maher 
is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this was already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Third and two, pick it. This one is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lost one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Osborne. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Dialing up another pass here. Pickett. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. First and ten, here's Pickett. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. We've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And that will be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Rocky Sin. And the Vikings are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get. And my goodness, another interception. Daxton Hill picks it off. And the Lions are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play on this ball game. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite... 
Yeah, that my Brooklyn go see shot rock. South side, see 12, 9, 11. Good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex, no day ready. See, we went on the ride, nobody way. We're the ones who started with it. Translation, Yanni had to buy, Yanni had Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grr.